morning guys it is currently 10 a.m and i am off to the etihad today we are going to go watch city arsenal one of my mates works for a company that works with the etihad and so they get discounted tickets i have actually only been to the etihad once i didn't manage to get into the stadium or go do a stadium tour or anything it's going to be such a fun day but plan of action for today and you will have already seen the title is i want to try all of the food at the etihad if you watch a lot of my other content, you will know that I love eating. I'm not a City or an Arsenal fan, so I don't really want to just do like a match day vlog. I don't want to see Arsenal win and I don't want to see Arsenal win the league, but I also don't really want City to win. I'd rather this game was a draw, but I want there to be lots of goals so that it's an exciting game to watch. But the whole point of this video is I am going to be going to the Etihad and trying every single one of the food that they've got. I'm hoping that it's not a lot because I know food in stadiums is so expensive. I'm just going to have a small breakfast this morning and then I can eat so so much when I get to the game but I'm just waiting for my mate to pick me up he should be here in probably the next 10 minutes but yeah that is the plan so I will speak to you when I'm in the car we are in the car on the ready on the ready yeah that doesn't make sense so <laughs> we're on the ready <laughs> we're on the ready we're on the way to Manchester how far away are we an hour. We are an hour away, but we're driving through some really, really beautiful views. We are in Manchester, but we parked literally right outside, which is good. It was only £10 parking at this... Arsenal. Where is it? I don't even know where we are, but in a parking thing. <laughs> we were in a parking yeah, thing. We are at the Etihad. There it is. <laughs> Nico is a uh, big Arsenal fan. He's going to be sitting in the city end. Nico, how do you feel about uh, sitting in the... I don't like it. City end? <laughs> I want to be in the Arsenal <laughs> We're all going to get city tops just to annoy Nico. There are loads of food stands around the stadium, so I'm going to try one thing from every food stand that is here and include that in this vlog. And I'm probably going to be so, so full, but we've got to do it. Okay, so first place that I'm eating is this fish and chip man. And I'm just going to get a plain kids fish and chips, I think. Just a small one, because I know I'm going to be eating at every other stand as well. Okay, I've got fish and chips with mushy peas. Taste test. Okay, we try the chips. Crispy? Tasty? I don't know what I'm doing about the top of it, and then I'll put the fish. Oh my lord. It's so crispy. The mushy peas are insane as well. Fish and chips was insane. I paid seven pounds for a kid's fish and chips. You can obviously pay more for a bigger portion, but I think it was a all right size considering the amount that like I've still got to get. But it was honestly so good, so so good. I had mushy peas and then a fish and chips, obviously, and for seven pound, pretty good, very very good. One of the best fish and chips I've had. I'm not gonna lie. All right, guys, we are undercover in the Man City pub. Like it is their home pub. The Blue Moon, they do burgers. They've got a cheap Manny cheeseburger for £6.75. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a cheeseburger next, and then we will probably head in there, and I'll try all of the food inside of the Etihad too. We got a cheeseburger. Okay, I'm gonna taste test my burger. Oh God. Food here. So far, the pasty has been the worst thing I've eaten. It was alright, but I 
wouldn't pay money for that again. Like, it didn't really taste of anything. It's kind of like... It's not good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not good. Contact. Oh. <laughs> oh, I told you it's hot. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, it's good if it's hot. Not when it burns. It's alright, yeah, that's what I mean. It's edible. Yeah, I don't mind it, it's alright, but I don't think I'd pay like five quid for it again. I think it was £4.75, so yeah, burger was way better. Um, I think so far though, the fish and chips was my favourite, like it's so, so good. Okay, we are in the Etihad, I've just scanned my ticket, they asked me my age. As always, they think I'm a child, but <laughs> yeah, they think I'm so young every time. stuff but I genuinely don't think I can hack much more <laughs> like my stomach is so full already I've got barbecue wrap loaded fries I'm actually glad it's not like a huge portion because the, I would die <laughs> so boring it was nil nil to be fair it was quite end to end but like it could have been a hell of a lot better even we scored against City but at the same time I'm glad it was a draw because fuck both of those teams to be honest food wise 
A lot of it was very bang average, I will say that. The cake was really just tasted like a Tesco cake, I'm not gonna lie, like there was nothing special about it. The best thing I ate was the fish and chips. If you go to the Etihad, go to the fish and chip stand outside, it is unreal. I have just got home from the game and I am absolutely knackered. The drive back was so long and I am literally ready to pass out now. I had such a good day with my mates, like honestly it was just so much fun and i honestly haven't laughed that much in so long like the car journey was just so funny quick rundown of the food in the etihad the best food was by far the fish and chips stand outside it was unreal honestly best fish and chips i think i've ever had like and it was really really good worst food was probably the pasty i'm not gonna lie it was all right, but it really wasn't anything special and I've had much better pasties. Actually, inside of the Etihad, I'd probably say the loaded fries were the best thing. The cake was bang average, really not worth £5. I wouldn't pay for that again because it was just too stale, honestly. Like, it was very dry. There's obviously still a couple things I didn't try, so I didn't try the burger in the Etihad. I didn't try the hot dog in the Etihad. So... If I go back to the Etihad, hopefully next time I get to see City Chelsea, we'll see. And next time I will try the hot dog and burger. But that is my review of as much of the food as I could possibly eat at the Etihad. There's obviously a few food stalls as well that either weren't open or I didn't get to try because I just didn't have time. That is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. If you did, let me know in the comments and I will go to more stadiums, try more food. But if you enjoyed this video, guys, remember to give it a like, subscribe, hit the notifications button so you don't miss when you, when, when, not when you post, when I post. And I will see you in the next video, guys. I am literally going to pass out right now. Good night.